Hi, I'm Steve Hart, an executive coach with the Professional Development Group. Have you ever found yourself in your job with the dilemma of, should I stay or should I go? Yesterday, a coaching client of mine asked that very question. And I gave her the advice that I give everybody else is really this is about a very deep personal decision that you must make, but you need to do it after careful consideration. One of the things I found from talking to her was essentially her reluctance to want to move on was based upon her fear of letting go of what is already familiar. How do you step over into that boundary where what you've always done, which is no longer fulfilling you, is finally something you're afraid to leave? It's almost like an abusive relationship. You're stuck in something that you doesn't be able to fulfill your life, nor is it giving you any satisfaction in your life. So the idea for her was to go in, think deeply about the prospect of moving from where she is into something else that she would like to do. And I gave her some thinking tools to, to play with around that. One was, what am I being served with? in my current role that I would like to change? What would I like to see differently manifest in my life that is not happening today? How can I trust the relationships that I'm going to enter into in my new position? And what are the mechanisms and the appeal of the new situation that are going to be most critical to me? Make a list of those things and really put them out on paper because ultimately she has to make the decision based upon her head and her heart together. But making it purely out of the head is not really the great way to start. Get into a deep self-reflective mechanism and be able to list and put down the things that are most important for you to manifest within your career. And the other part of it is what kind of legacy do you want to leave within the career that you have? How much of an impact do you want to have on the organizations that you work with? And how do you want to be perceived and looked at as a leader when all this is over? And so those deep reflective questions cannot be made in a moment. I encouraged her as she was going away for a four day vacation to think about those things deeply while she's on the beach and come back and let me have her answers when she returns. One of the advantages of working with an executive coach is that you get the opportunity to have these deeper level conversations rather than just with yourself. You have a trusted partner who is willing to give themselves to deep listening, to work in the interests of your needs and requirements and be able to find a way for you to satisfy your own curiosity and your own desire to reach your full potential with no particular agenda on the other part of the coach, simply just to listen deeply and to give you that deep advice and be able to guide you in a way that gives the, you the power to make the decision that's best for you. If you'd like the opportunity to talk to me or any of the coaches at the Professional Development Group, click the link below. We'd be delighted to speak with you. Thanks for listening. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.